Hey guys, this is Annie with a tutorial on how to use WROBOT's Reallogger application. For those of you who don't know what it is, uh, Reallogger is, is an application written by the WROBOT team. Um, it automatically swaps botting profiles, helps you manage your botting time, and also relaunches any crashed or errored clients. Um, so to get started, what you want to do is look in your WROBOT install directory, and you're going to see a prof uh, an application there called Reallogger. You want to launch it. If you've never touched it before, it's going to look something like this. Uh, first things first, you want to go to the general settings and you're going to want to confirm that the path to the World of Warcraft client and the W Robot executable are correct. Uh, this program is going to be attempting to call both of those and launch both of those. So you're not getting too far without that. Okay, so let's add a botting profile. Name can be whatever you want. Um, so that's pretty much that. Now everything's going to be done over here. So you're going to be entering your WROBOT key. Um, this is a free key that I got from Droids. It's going to be destroyed in a few days, so don't get any crazy ideas. This is a free 1 to 20 account. Uh, you can knock yourself out with that one. Um, if you've got only one, on only one World of Warcraft account on your Battle.net account, the default account name will be WoW1. Um, if it's anything else, when you log in to the account, you get a pop-up and it will tell you the specific account names. Um, you've probably seen it a hundred times if you're in that boat. Um, so you want to put in the, the Battle.net password as well, because obviously Relog is going to be logging into your account for you. Um, the next one is the character name and the server name. Now this is the main botting character for this account. Um, so this is a brand new account, so I'm going to be using Naram, and I play on Amon Thol. So I just want to copy that in there. Okay, so that's defined your WROBOT key, your Battle.net account, and the main botting character. Um, so let's add some tasks here. Let's add a couple. So the first one, let's go run one. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running a profile. So we're going to go to run. We're going to do runtime 60 to 70, looks good. Like normal, don't go crazy with the runtime. Um, don't get greedy, you'll get caught. Um, for this product, we're going to be doing a quester. We're using a quest profile here. And this is where it's just like using WROBOT, you just got a different GUI. So you can pick whatever quest profile you want to run. I'm going to use my 1 to 60 profile. And this is a warrior. So I'm going to use the a warrior fight class. Um, okay, what should be noted that any other settings, any other W Robot settings, um, will be carried through from the normal W Robot client. So if you've defined to sell or not sell or whitelist specific items, that's going to get carried through from your other, you know, just a manual launch of the W Robot client. Okay, so back to Relogger. We've called it Run One. It's going to run for 60 to 70 minutes, a quest profile, that's the profile, that's the fire class, that's the character, cool. Um, however, that's pretty easy and we can probably do that ourselves through the, w, through the W robot client itself. So we want to make a wait time. Now, um, the, the good thing about Relogger is that you can really mask yourself as a normal player. Uh, I see far too many people saying, oh I ran this profile for 9 hours and yeah, it's a really good way to get caught. So what we want to do here is we want to put a wait in. And we're running for 60 to 70 minutes on the profile. So let's wait for 60 to 70 minutes as well. Um, during that wait, you probably want to close well. Otherwise, your character sits there AFK at the graveyard. And that's not very cool. Okay. So, let's, um, so it's just going to go through pulses like you'd expect. It's just going to go down the list. So we're running this main character for 60 to 70, we're then waiting. Um, this is then going to do, you know what, let's change character. So we're going to change over to a different um, character. The advantage of doing this is simply detection. Um, you can imagine if you were a legitimate player, um, if you were a legitimate player and you saw the same bot two hours on, two hours off, farming your farm spot, you're going to report them after about two days. However, if you have multiple different profiles, multiple different characters, 
you're a lot harder to detect. That, along with putting wait times in, you're virtually impossible to detect. So, um, yeah, it, it's pretty... Imp I, I try to rotate my characters as much as possible. I know it's tough, especially when you've got, you know, your good profiles with major, which make you good gold, to turn them off. But you, you just got to do it. Um, otherwise, yeah, you, you, your chance of getting caught is a lot higher. So, let's change that over. Uh, okay, so that's the second character on this account. Uh, so, we've changed the character over. Let's make... So once we've changed it, let's make a second run profile. And let's not run that quester. Let's just run a gatherer profile. And obviously this is a level 1 character, so not going too far. Uh, yeah, 1 to 75 Mulgore. And once again, you're defining a, um, a fight class just like normal. And then the final pulse... He's running for 60 to 70, that's cool. Let's add another weight. Weight number two. And let's change that to 60 to 70. Now, um, so, just looking at this profile when we start it, it's going to run Naram for 60 to 70 on the 1 to 60 quester. It's going to wait another 60 to 70 minutes it's going to change character. It's going to run my second character on a gatherer profile for 60 to 70 minutes and then wait again. Now at the top here, uh, the top here, you've got run tasks in a loop, which means it's just going to keep jumping between those two characters. Run character, wait, run character two, wait, run character one, wait. And that's pretty good. If you had like a third character you could run, you'd put that in as well and once again you reduce your chance of getting caught even further. Um, what should be noted is Blizzard is really starting to use big data analytics to pick out people and pick out specific schedules in people's playing. So people can, uh, you know, W Robot users can get very, very greedy with this and say, oh, this is great, you know, I have an application that will monitor my bots for me. I can run this 24 hours a day, you know, two hours on, two hours off for the rest of the time. You'll get caught. Um, pretty, it's pretty easy to catch someone like that with the sort of analytics that Blizzard's using. My recommendation is you set up a profile like this. You know, you sort of look at it, okay, you know, this is going to take me maybe four and a half hours to get through the, the two 60 to 70 minute waits and the two 60 to 70 minute runs. Four and a half hours, I'm going to work. So what I'm going to do, open up command prompt, and I'm going to do a shutdown minus... Sorry, minus S, minus T for, I don't know, nine hours, which is going to be what? Um, 33,600 or something. I'm not sure. All right, so 33,600. Oh. I've already scheduled one. Let's cancel it. Okay, so 33,600 is, you know, 560 minutes. So I can turn this, turn, um, relog around in the morning. I can you know, start my, my botting sequence, I can set the computer to turn off in, you know, eight hours or whatever. Um, I can, my, my bots will run through, I'll be swapping between profiles, characters, locations, whatever I can, and then it will probably be shut down for a few hours before I come home. So then if I actually want to play when I come home, I'm not getting any red flags against my account. Um, you know, like any other W Robot pro, uh, program, you need to play around with it to actually see how it works and what you can do. But um, that's the basics. And I mean, the only thing I can really stress here is do not get greedy. Uh, you've, you've got a program that can run bots 24-7, but it's that kind of behavior that just gets you banned. And yeah, it's not worth your time. So look, I hope that helps some people. Um, yeah, cheers.